Hey friends, I have some bad news to share in this one. Speaker Pelosi has decided to not include the pathway to citizenship for the 5 million essential workers, DACA recipients, and TPS holders. This is very, very, very disappointing and somewhat shocking as well. If you're interested in learning more about this issue, watch this video. Kudos to Helen, who was in my live session tonight on Instagram, my Monday night live session. Helen broke this news while I was in the middle of the session. This news literally just came out tonight. And this is really a blow, a blow to the immigrant advocacy community that have been pushing for at least some protections or further protections for those who are putting their lives on the line every day for each of us here in this country um, to help keep us safe and healthy and alive. And so I'm, I'm, pers I'm very disappointed by this decision, but I'm going to take you into the political article that broke this news tonight and we're going to hear more from Speaker Pelosi's staff through this article about why she has decided to hold off on doing this at this critical time when they have an opportunity to do something significant around immigration reform. Here's the political article that broke the news tonight. It said House leadership to keep path to citizenship out of COVID relief package. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi does not plan to include a pathway to citizenship for undocumented essential workers, DREAMers, and TPS recipients as part of an upcoming coronavirus relief package, despite calls from Democrats and immigrant advocates to do so. Here's what her leadership team is saying, or her staff. President Biden proposed comprehensive immigration reform, which includes protections for frontline immigrant workers, separate from his COVID relief plan. And we expect that to therefore have separate consideration. A House Democratic leadership aide told Politico on Monday afternoon. Now, what this aid is saying is that while President Biden has already introduced his immigration reform effort bill, and that's going to be the U.S. Citizenship Act with which Senator Menendez is going to introduce any day now. So let that process take its course rather than merge um, the immigration reform effort with the COVID relief bill. Some of you out there may very well support that strategy, but one of the reasons that it made sense to merge this path, merge this pathway with the budget reconciliation process is because it only requires a simple majority vote in the Senate to pass. So that's the opportunity opportunity on the Senate side and the house is democratically controlled. So I don't see any reason why they are not, why Pelosi, I should say, is not jumping on the opportunity to include this in the budget reconciliation process. Let's go back to the article to see what else they have to say. Democrats in the house and Senate have not yet formally introduced bills with Biden's comprehensive reform plan, which we know Senator Menendez and Linda Sanchez of California are taking the lead in preparing the bill for introduction in their respective chambers. But getting a bill, a big bill through Congress is widely expected to be a difficult task given the 50, 50 split in the Senate, meaning at least 10 Republicans would have to support the, legisl the legislation. The article also goes on to say the Biden administration has said passing a comprehensive reform, immigration reform bill is a top priority, but Biden officials and Democrats on Capitol Hill recognize that the main objective is progress. So they've expressed willingness to support moving parts of reform through Congress in a piecemeal way at the same time that they push a big bill. However, the White House has not weighed in on including legal status into the already massive coronavirus relief package. We're going to have to see what Chuck Schumer, Senate Majority Leader, uh, has to say about this. This is particularly disappointing, especially for the immigrant advocacy community, and then certainly all these essential workers, DACA recipients, and TPS holders 
who were looking for an opportunity through this budget resolution or reconciliation process. But the other thing to note too, with respect to TPS and DACA, that there is a separate track that's also in play, a bipartisan legislation that, um, Senator Durbin and Senator Lindsey Graham are going to introduce. It's the Dreamers Act. They've introduced this in the past. They're reigniting this bill to provide a pathway to permanent residency and citizenship, certainly for DACA recipients, as well as TPS, temporary protected status holders. So that's in play. As of tonight, we now know that Nancy Pelosi is not interested in a pathway to citizenship for essential workers to be included in the COVID relief talks and bell. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure to share it with others so that they will be in the know as well. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.